DTLR Radio. DTLR Nation, you hear the instrumental. All right, they here. They in the building. You know that instrumental by the Love King himself. Raheem Devon on the check-in and Brother Wes Felton. Yes, yes. On the check-in. And, and when they come together with their superpowers, you know what I'm saying, tackling all the all, all, all this conscious stuff happening, you know what I'm saying, in the world, they are Crossroads. Yes, yes. The Crossroads, yes, sir. The <laughs> yes. Crossroads. They hit the Crossroads. That's right. So how did, how did, the, how did this, this, this unit, because you've had your career, yeah. right? Raheem has his, has his career. How did this unification happen? Well, man, many, many something years ago, uh, Raheem, a lot of people don't know that Raheem started off with a rock and roll group. Oh. Yeah, he had this rock, black Ooh. rock band called Tree of Soul. Ooh. And, um, you know, we used to hit up all the open mics and stuff on U Street. And I just kind of got tired of, like, seeing, like, great artists with these, like, mediocre artists. I gotcha. mean, that's like the roll of dice with open mics. And right? when you say U Street, um, because this is this is all across oh, the country. Yeah. So D.C. DC. DC. U gotcha. Street and D.C. is gotcha. the, uh, you know, historic. They call it Black Broadway. That's where a lot of artists <laughs> started their careers. And Word. A lot of artists from other places would come and lay it down. Word. But, um, yeah, so I, myself, uh, this brother named Tone Walters, and this other dude, Brent Munch Joseph, we decided to start this event called Groove Gumbo. Yeah. And basically what we wanted to do was have the dopest cats from the open mics Mm -hmm. And put them basically on a show with like national and international acts. Oh, they were dope. So innovative. Yeah, so I like would, that. So we would have like a Jill Scott who was coming up vibes and have her be the headliner, but then have somebody local who we felt like would compliment. So Bridging right, the gap. Oh, yeah. so wait, so, wait, wait, so wait. Raheem, is that Crossroads? Is that well, meaning? Uh, now you uh, see how I'm trying to play on that. <laughs> how y'all are so, crossing? Exactly. So he shows up for one of them, but he shows up late, and I go off. Raheem, I'm like, why he was late? Yeah, he had, no, you know what? He was doing another show. He had another I said, show. Man, I said, man, I said, man, if you, if you if you if you can't get set up in five, because anybody knows man, me, I'm never late for anything. Yeah, look at that. I'm I'm early. I sure it was important then. Yeah, so, was, so maybe so maybe it was because of that one situation that I don't know. Yeah, but I think that like, was like talking yeah. about right now. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't yeah. time, and that's the reason why I did early. That's the reason why I did that because I would say, yo, man. You know, it's just a lesson in the industry um, to teach. Like, hey, brother, like, sometimes you could be the greatest and could be the dopest, but if you late, that could make an impression on somebody in a way where... You it, might you know, miss the big, big... You can be the greatest and the dopest and be late and miss and miss the, the most important opportunity. You hear that, DJ yeah. Nation? They dropping them gems? Yeah. Of your life. Wow. So, 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 leaders to say, he didn't, like, he didn't, like, just cut me off or he stayed in touch. And before you knew it, we were just jumping on each other's shows. And uh, he would have a verse that would fit one of my songs. I might have a verse that fit one of his. And Got then you. we just went from there, man, decided rather than, you know, being like competitors, we was like, yo, we're going to be teammates. So we, 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 we did our first record called uh, Unlimited uh, uh, limited Budget, Unlimited, unlimited quality. quality. Gotcha. That was the first joint. And then we did a follow-up with some aliases under aliases' names, which was the second record called The Invitation. But Dope. this is the first record in 12 years, basically. Wow. So this Since is this is definitely joint. groundbreaking right here. Absolutely. So 15. 15. Yeah, like 15? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, well, it's always a pleasure to have great music come together to make this magic because this America record that we're going to get into is absolutely inspiring. But I, I want to take a trip back to last year. I was reading up on this. Uh, Essence did a great cover on you guys about yeah. you guys reuniting for socially conscious theme uh, 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 issues going on. Yeah. So what was that like last year with this whole, with that moment? With a, with, yeah, with the reunion, I mean, it, this album was really sparked and, and inspired by the Baltimore riots. Yes. So literally while, while the riots were taking place and leading up to the riots, Uprising. A ser yes, a series of incidents that happened, you know, throughout the country where um, young black men and women were being murdered by the police, yes. gunned down by the police, right? Um, wrongly, right? So, and uh, so while that was happening, I was kind of just like documenting it mentally mm -hmm. and, you know what I mean? And yeah. it's like the, the, the uprising was just kind of like that, that, that the highest peak and point of it. I was literally in the studio recording while the riots were going on, like... Creating like 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 uh, Black Gold was one of the first records that I, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying had worked on at Got that you. time, and and then I called Wes and I'm like, yo, you, you seeing what's going on right now? And then it just kind of just from right there it was like, yo, we need to, we've been talking about getting back in. Like I think this is like no this time, is the like moment, the present the time, wow, yeah. to do it. Now the album was t the, the album was actually scheduled originally to come out uh, before the election. Okay, like you know what I mean? Like why the why the election was unraveling? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. This is when Barack was still in office, and um, 
you know, I due to due, due to due to my acting career and wanted to pursue acting. Word. I had an opportunity that came that, that fell in my lap that I had to take at that time. So we discussed it amongst ourselves. Actually, West was supposed to be is going to be part of the new leg. Like there was, you know, there's oh. Love Jones and Musical is what I'm speaking of. So we so the play winded up going out. Uh, back in back last uh, back in uh, August, they okay. August, and we didn't conclude until uh, February. So, uh, you know, there's some talk of us going back out. Um, actually, ironically, uh, to, to to do a residency in Vegas. You know, well, look shout at that. Oh, shout out to thoughts Vegas, and prayers. You know, everybody that has family out yeah, there. Absolutely. And, you know, may have just came back, or we had, know someone that just flew flew there. You know, over the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've been checking on a couple of a couple of homies and friends out Word. there and whatnot. So. Everybody's, you know, safe, thankfully. Definitely. Yeah, but um, but yeah, man. So, you know, um, the, the album is, you know, we kind of been working on this album the last two years. Got you. You know what I mean? And and, it, and it's here, like right. Yeah, like, it's we, it, 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 here. And never, <laughs> never in my wildest dreams that I imagine that uh, forty five being in office would actually help propel this Look project. Look at that. You know what I mean? Because. You know, and you're in music, you're in the radio. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it, not a lot of artists, well, I won't even say not a lot, almost no artists that are on a major platform mm -hmm. or major label um, situation are taking the, the, the risk or, you know, basically just falling in line and making music yeah. that they need to make and that the people need. The real. Yeah, so... Um, 45, that kind of helped us. You Look at that. I mean, because I mean, the resistance movement is not just Black Lives Matter. Okay. It's, uh, you know what I mean? It's everything. You know what I'm saying? It's, Definitely. It's from the LGBTQ folks to uh, to the, our brown brothers and sisters in the gotcha. Latin, Latin community. Um, the women's rights movement, that stuff is still, you know, there's still a lot of uh, marginalization, you know, occurring to all of those groups. And so we wanted, we, we had to make it a point to say, First of all, to our brothers, yes. Like, look, it's time for us to think critically. Mm -hmm. It's cool to turn up, of course, but you need but, that balance. But you, you gotta got be to. conscious. You know, you understand, stuff. and and we gotta be real careful with the messages that we put out there, yes, sir. Because it, while we, you know, celebrating and partying and enjoying ourselves with it, if we're not careful, those become our anthems. Look at that. And what used to be. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Could be bad and bougie now. <laughs> exactly. Now it's now become, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's real you know talk. That's definitely real talk. So and you got to think about two years ago. I love Cardi B. I love her hustle. Of I'm course. Like, you know, the grind. Oh, yeah. But you got to think about it. Two years ago, we our sisters were singing about Formation. Yeah. About Sandra Bland. So, but now. We red bottoms. Yeah. It's, it's all about and, and the I'm material. A, I, and not, only I, not only am I rocking the red bottoms, but I'll step on you in these red bottoms. That's you crazy. Know what I'm saying? Look at that. So it's just a weird. It's 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 a it's a it's a it's a thing that can happen unconsciously and yep. subconsciously to people. So that's why we can't judge people or be critical towards them. Good point. Is we got to really look at the big picture and say, okay, well, how did we get there? And then how do we now make, find a way to bring balance back to it? Well, that's you know? why I thank God for y'all too, because y'all are definitely on the forefront of that charge. So look, we are gonna hang out for a little yeah. bit. Go yeah. ahead and introduce. The America record, which I just looked at the visuals. Yo, Detail yeah. Nation, I got a YouTube this joint. The Crossroads, it, the song is called America. Let them know. Talk hey, check it them. out. It's the world premiere, DTL on radio. It's one half of the Crossroads, Raheem Devon. Yeah, the other half of the Crossroads, Wes Felton. And this is our new single for the conscious hip hop, soulful minds, America, off the new album, Footprints on the Moon, available on all digital platforms right now. Let's get it, Detail Nation. Yeah, Cro yes, yes, the crossroads. Yes, yes. It, 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 and if we weren't sitting down, we would all probably have taken a knee. Yeah, I was about and your shirt. Let, let me see kneelers instead of still. I like that. So I was. Yeah, yeah. And this is a perfect caveat. What did y'all take on the whole taking a knee? To what's going on across the whole sports platform right now? Like this, this is my thing, bro. What y'all think? I, I'm. I ain't been watching football for that reason. Really? And if you really want to make a statement, walk off the field. Wow. Don't play. It's like this. We're because, at this. Because, because I'm sorry. You, because you have somebody who literally has did that. He sat. He basically. He basically put. He sacrifices his money and his fame and. Word. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. His his God given. His, his, his physical God given talents. Sure. And and then also we're at a point. We're wow. at a point in this world where black folk. It's so many wealthy black people now. These athletes are wealthy as well as they have. You know, influence based on mm -hmm. their fame. Yep. That, you know, <laughs> it's they, the, fa they, the they, fact that we still fall in line. Yeah. And the fact that we still often let.
people outside of our race dictate our narrative. That's crazy. Man, we gotta stop that, man. That, you understand that's what I'm saying? Crazy, it's kinda like it's kinda like what we were talking about off air a little bit. How like with these young kids, you know, with that video you were talking about, yeah. Um, America. We actually did that with kids between the ages of like fifteen to like twenty two. Wow, they did they they helped direct yes. it? They they oh. they wrote the treatment. Whoa. They they helped with the set design. They, they did, had they full creative up. control. Absolutely. Straight from did, they did the makeup, wow. and, they, and they were all war, They were all southeast young Ooh, people. Shout and out we, to southeast. And we shot the video entirely in War Date as well. Crazy. Southeast. Crazy. So it, it's like it's like this, man. We can either be part of the problem or part of the solution. Word. And we can't we can't blame somebody if they don't know better. The person that we can blame are the people who know better, yep. but they choose to keep perpetuating and pushing. What's and, and, and powerful message on the shirt you had on West, and the, it said "Silence." Oh, is silence violence. is violence. That's yeah. big. You and a lot of people think that that means no, not snitching or it, you know, mm -hmm. uh, speaking on that. But no, it, it goes further than that. It means if you see somebody being oppressed or being, you know, taken advantage of by someone in power. Yeah. And you just kind of. You know, out of sight, out of mind, or, or it's not, not my it's, problem. It's not directly impacting exactly. my life technically. So that's that's just as dangerous as the people who perpetuate that's big. And, and perform the crimes or whatever it is. And in 2017, black people killing each other tough should be. I mean, the fact that that still even exists or that that's an idea or concept. It just lets you know that there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Definitely. So with this record, it's not just about calling out. Mm -hmm. You know the racists out here mm -hmm. calling out quote, quote unquote the obvious powers that be, but it's also a call out to our brothers to start taking accountability. Hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? You got toxic, ma you got toxic masculinity that goes around where these brothers are putting their hands on their their women. Crazy. Um, and if they're not doing it physically, they're doing it verbally, yeah. or they do all kinds of things. And it's time for us to man up and like tell these young brothers it's nothing wrong with growing up. That's it. It's nothing wrong with growing up. That's it. It's okay, brother. Man, this is a great way to start yeah. the week on DTL Radio, man. You know so many messages from Raheem Devon, West yeah. West Felton. Look, yeah. the crossroads is here. The crossroads is here to stay. Absolutely. What what y'all got coming up? I, I mean, I'm just so excited for this this collab, this situation. Oh, man, we just um we we have been moving around, man. We were just in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know, Saturday night. Got wow. back yesterday. What was it like out there? Little Rock, it Arkansas. Was incredible. It was incredible. Wow. Incredible, because you know we was we performed. On Black Wall Street, check that out. Where they where they burnt that down and got rid of, and they just recently changed the name of the street down there. That was formerly the name of the white guy who incited the riot. That ultimately it was known as, as, as and that's what a riot is. That's what right. happened in Baltimore was, was an uprising. uprising. Got you. Now a riot actually happened on Black Wall Street when those white folks got together with their little torches and whatever, and they commenced to burning down and looting and killing and running out all these prominent black businessmen, Crazy. business women, who, you know, they were on their way to being like in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Like wow. a black, you know. Um, so the beautiful thing about it, they're attempting, the city of Tulsa and the town, that town, which is a beautiful town, mm -hmm. beautiful people there, they're attempting, you know, in a form of reconciliation to, to really no longer hide that history. Big. Okay. But call it out. And try to find means of reconciliation. So one of those was, you know, the first their first um, Tulsa Soul Festival that we just played, and it was beautiful, oh. man. We brought the kids up there on stage with us yeah. when we did America. There it is. I mean, shoot, how many people was out there, man? It had to be at uh, least thousand, about two, 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 three thousand, maybe. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, That's outside beautiful. on the lawn, you yeah. know, like outdoors, you know. Do y'all like um, Do y'all like those kind of performances better yeah, than yeah, the, the, yeah, I mean, the intimate? I mean, you asked what's next, man. I think that's it. Like festivals, you know. Yeah. I mean? We're looking to do a lot of festivals. I can, um, I can see y'all like roots, yeah. roots picnic. Yeah, gra Philly, grassroots yeah. festivals, roots picnic. Um, what's what's the what's the what's Afro what's Afro punk Afro punk like. Yeah. We'd love to get on some of that stuff. Maybe I mean? Made in America. Made the song's name is America. Yeah, Come on. I mean, you I, know. I like it. And it's time, like, because I even have a line in one of our songs where I say, um, where it says, you know, uh, 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 Made in America. Wait, wait, wait. I say, uh, I say, uh, 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 this is more than a record. Cop yeah. shot 30 rounds in 15 seconds. Four-month-old baby in the rear section. 
Another mother got to call the reverend. Mm -hmm. A dead daughter, sister, veteran, nana media posing all the questions, slandering the victims, pointing out aggression. Somehow the angel of God kept that baby protected because grandma prayed beyond the pictures in the necklace. Uh -huh. They shooting up our boys out here like tetanus. Where the rage, where the cries, where the lectures, where the special team of inspectors made in America, where the projectors, <laughs> where the Lord to protect us. So, mean. so, so that that's a direct line mean. where I'm making direct reference to Made in America. How come all them projectors, all I'm seeing is everybody's logos, mm -hmm. everybody's names, but why are we let's, not seeing the faces? Fist up there. Yeah, why are we not seeing the faces of the victims in America? Why are we not seeing the faces of the these Puerto Ricans who are Americans that our country still has not offered help to? That's crazy. So it's time for us to start thinking critically. Us brothers, you know, we tried to come up with a record that wasn't real preachy. We got a clean version that you can cop. That's and we fine. got a got an explicit version. So this is something you can sit down with your kids with, with grandma, your auntie. And, like, it's time for us to, you know, start rebuilding our community and our village. Because they tried to take us out with crack, and that didn't work. Now the music is what they mm, use. You understand? Talk about so it. So it's time for us to, like, regain our narrative back. And, like, our auntie Maxine, who stamped the project for us, Maxine Waters, um, Shout out to Mac. I was uh, CBC. We was just <laughs> yeah. you know hanging out at mm -hmm. the convention center um, yeah. for um, one of her one of her panel discussions. It was yeah. dope. She powerful. We got to reclaim our time. You know what I'm saying? And, and and reclaim the narrative. So brothers, get off the block. Don't settle for the block. Yep. The sky is not the limit. It's just the beginning. So, so it's time for y'all to put y'all foots on them. Put you know put y'all footprints on the moon with us. We, Which we, is the name of the album, yeah, right? Sir, so. Sir. Can't wait, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for the great stuff that's in store for you guys, man. Because you guys, separate, are a force to be reckoned with, so it's only better when you come together. Absolutely. Yeah. Teamwork it, makes the dream work, makes brother. Makes the dream work. But I didn't know rock band coming out. Yeah, Let's I go know. back to the big. But Raheem yeah. Devon, on, that's, that's on the, it. On the low, on the low I, heard a rumor, I heard a rumor that the Crossroads about to, uh, have, about to have a go-go band. Where you heard that? I, I just oh, look at that. Heard. That, that, yeah, that, that sounds like yeah, exclusive yeah, material. It's probably a go -go, a Ryan Devon go go night in D.C. Ooh, D.C., nation's capital. Pay attention. Yeah. Be on the lookout for the crossroads. You know what I'm saying? Raheem Devon, uh, West Felton. Uh, look, appreciate you guys. You know thank what I'm you. saying? Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you, And man. dropping them jewels because it's thank definitely you. necessary. And so thank, you, thank you for giving us the platform. For real. I, you know, a lot of times, you know, this type of messages don't get, nah, to, we need balance. get to coexist with, with the other stuff and... You know, we, we need our vegetables, too. You know what There I'm it saying? is right there, man. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Uh, the Crossroads here up next, coming up at the top of that was the Put in the Bag Mix featuring DJ Ferris. But, brothers, thank you guys, and I appreciate it. Right, Absolutely.